What's up, YouTube? It's Dreadhead Keezy, and I'm back again with another video just like I promised. All right, so I already did a video today. I know y'all probably already seen it yesterday. It was the mini brands. How could y'all see the video yesterday if I did the video today? Basically, what I'm saying is I'm going to upload the video tomorrow. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. I already uploaded one today, which will be yesterday. Look, just scratch it, scratch it. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshing. I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad. What's up, YouTube? It's Dre Head Keezy, and I'm back again with another video just like I promised. So, I already filmed a video, as y'all heard a minute ago. And I'm filming another video, which I'm gonna upload tomorrow. So, I just had this spontaneous idea. I'm in the bathroom, as you can see. I'm literally in the bathroom, getting ready to brush my teeth and stuff and kind of like wind down for the night because tomorrow I got to do stuff. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, bruh, I want to make some cinnamon toast crunch chicken. Look, I know y'all tired of my craziness. Y'all tired of these videos I'm doing, but I got to do this. I got to do this, man. Cinnamon toast crunch chicken. This this is about to blow anything y'all ever seen out the water, okay? But before I do anything, I got to go to the store. I need to get me a deep fryer. I need some chicken baskets. I need some tablecloths. I need, I need a whole bunch of stuff to get this done because I just don't want this to be sloppy. And to be honest, I'm going to have people come over and eat it and try it because I'm a chef. I am a total chef, okay? I be putting it down in the kitchen. Nobody eats my food except for me. YouTube just be looking at my food and they don't know what to do. They can't try it. And I'm about to have people try my food because I'm a total genius when it comes to this. I get the idea and I put it together and it just blows up, blows up. I'm talking about 30K on TikTok. All right, all right, I sound, I sound crazy. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna make Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chicken and it actually wasn't my idea. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know my friend one of my real good friends she is a chef okay and she gives me all these ideas she helps me put them together and i just deliver it in a video because that's what i do so we're gonna go to the store gather everything we need all the products everything and i'll be back in the kitchen and i'm gonna catch y'all in five four three two one let's go okay guys so i'm in the kitchen i'm about to turn the camera around and show you guys everything that i got so far this is what we have so far you know the chicken and the eggs buttermilk cherries lemon pepper lots of lemon pepper maple bacon squash sliced pineapples um flour grease and these are the baskets we're going to use for chicken oh and the fryer that i got is right there so uh yeah and some eggs obviously and some chicken so we're gonna do wings and breasts and i think it's gonna turn out like really really good so um of course all this stuff that i just showed in the picture is not going to be used for the cinnamon toast crunch chicken so there's going to be sides and stuff with it as well but you'll see the final product when it's ready so i'm about to bring y'all along this whole entire way and show you everything we do step by step so you guys can recreate this dish at home and it is going to smash i'm telling you it's going to be so good all right y'all so the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your chicken and you want to clean it and clean it good then you spank it because it needs to be firm and spank so you gotta a couple times you know what i'm saying then put it in a bowl so you can season it that's what we're about to do right now so let's get it done all right y'all so here's the chicken it's seasoned already yes it got a little messy as you can see um, these are the seasonings that we used, so you guys can make this at home. Yeah, we still got everything back here, you know, as we're cooking. So, yeah, so make sure y'all season the chicken. That's really important. Don't put no naked, ugly chicken in there. Please don't. All right, y'all, so the next thing that you want to do after you get this chicken seasoned and everything, you want to get some oil. This is the oil that we're using right here. I already poured most of it in, but I'm about to pour the rest so y'all can see it. Fryer on 350. Yeah, it's on 350. And then you want to fill it to where it says max. So I'm going to pour a little more in there so it could be up to the max. It's pretty much at the max now. There we go. And then you want to wait and let this get hot. Y'all, so the grease wasn't getting hot, but I'm about to show y'all. Y'all need this flour right here. Take note, you need this flour, look. 
Okay, so here's the flour in the bowl. I did add some of this seasoning to it. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna stir that all in there because that is going to give your chicken the color that it needs. Um, the flour is already seasoned. As you can see, that's why I like this one. Um, it's already seasoned, so you don't need to add any seasoning to the flour if you really don't want to. So I'm gonna stir this up some. I'm probably gonna add like another packet to it. And then we're gonna coat this chicken. So before we coat the chicken, there's one more thing that we need to do, which is put the cereal in the blender, which it's already in the blender, and we need to blend it up and get it into a fine little like mist, or no, like a dust pretty much. And we're gonna dip the chicken in that as well. Then when the chicken comes out, we're gonna sprinkle some on like this. <laughs> so yeah, so um, let's blend up this chicken. I mean, we put a blend up chicken. Let's blend up this cereal. I'm finna hit, what is this, whip? Oh snap. Y'all, so I was having technical difficulties, but as you can see, I got it in there. I just had to stir it a lot, but it's very fine. It's almost a powder. But yeah, I'm about to get that into a bowl now. So we got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch really, 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 really fine, except for that one piece right there and then the flour with the sassoon seasoning in it. So have those close together because you're about to put the chicken in both of them. Y'all, I'm moving so fast that I totally forgot a step. So we have to do eggs and buttermilk in a bowl because this is buttermilk chicken. So before we can just dip it in the um, cinnamon toast crunch and the flour, we have to dip it in eggs and buttermilk. I almost forgot that part, but I'm about to do it right now. I'm about to do it. Oh my gosh. Y'all, yeah, so I whisked four eggs and like a cup or two of buttermilk. I know that's so bad I didn't measure, but y'all should know, like depending on how much chicken, we're making this much chicken. So, I mean, I need the buttermilk, you know, like, but yeah, that, that should be enough. I hope it's enough. I mean, we're just hoping as we go. All right, y'all, so while I'm still waiting for the grease to get hot and I'm kind of letting the chicken soak in that seasoning, I'm going to get the baskets ready. So look, this is literally just a spice keeper, but I'm using these baskets for the chicken baskets and I'm about to line them with paper towels now. So, oh, I almost dropped them. Okay, so here's the baskets. I lined them both like this way and this way and underneath like three times each. So the grease shouldn't seep through. It probably still will, but yeah, I'm getting ready to dip this chicken. That's what I'm ready for. So here we go. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna hold the camera and do this. I already did one to test it out. So you wanna dip it in the buttermilk, make sure it gets completely wet. And then, oh my gosh, I'm dropping it already. Go over here to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Get that on there real good. Roll it in there, get it on. Then go to the flour. I didn't want the cinnamon toast crunch to burn as soon as I put it in the grease to where, you know, the chicken was burning. So this is why I'm doing it this way. Then put some more cinnamon toast crunch on it because you want it on the outside as well. And then straight to the grease. There's the one that I tried the first time. All right. And then you just repeat the process. So here we go. Y'all aren't gonna believe this. This is why I always need supervision. Look at my hands. But um, I put the chicken inside the fryer without the little basket thing being in there. So like, you know, top chef over there had to intervene. So I feel real dumb right now, but she said, don't worry about it, but it sucks. I can never do anything right, bro. I still wanted to time lapse myself, you know, dipping the chicken in the stuff so you guys can watch me in case you did want to do this at home. So I'm still going to do that. I'm just going to wait for this batch to come out first since I messed them up and we're just going to keep going. Oh my God, y'all. I haven't even put the phone on the stand yet to do the time lapse. I am smelling the cinnamon toast crunch. How do you open this? Look, y'all, look, look. Oh my gosh. I am so, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It smells so good, y'all. Okay, y'all. I'm about to dip the chicken. No more playing around. I'm dipping it. 
Okay, so you guys saw the time lapse of me doing the buttermilk with the egg, the cinnamon toast crunch, and then the flour, and then the cinnamon toast crunch again. So I already explained why I did it like that. So right now I have it in the basket, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Here it is in the basket. I got three pieces in there. This is like a small fryer, but it's okay. I like it. The first three pieces, we had technical difficulties and they burned. So we're gonna do this one a little low and you know, make sure it doesn't burn this time. So here we go, dunking it in. Oh yeah. All right, so then you close it, make sure it closes all the way and it locks like that. And then you just let it fry. So while the rest of all the chicken is cooking, I did wanna tell you guys this. So there's going to be like a second portion of this video. You can either end it at the chicken or we can go one step further because you know, I always got to overdo things. So on top of this chicken, it's not just going to be cinnamon toast crunch chicken. It's cinnamon toast crunch chicken topped with a honey Hawaiian glaze. And the honey Hawaiian glaze is going to have some special ingredients in it that you guys really got to stick around to see because it is about to be so good oh my god man so stick around for that i'm about to cook up all the chicken and when it's done i'm gonna lay it out for you guys to see and that'll be the next part of the video so let's get to it let's get to it let's get to it oh my god y'all are y'all seeing this look at this so it is really golden brown on some of them you can really really see the cinnamon toast crunch that is amazing Oh my gosh, I think they really turned out super good. So that was just making the wings. Now is the part where you can decide if you wanna click off or if you wanna stay on because now we're gonna make a glaze. It's going to be a, um, a honey Hawaiian glaze to go with this cinnamon toast crunch chicken. Um, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. So I'm about to pull out all the ingredients for that and we're just gonna jump right into that. And then I'm going to give to you a Hell's Kitchen chef dish and it will be superb. So the first thing you need for the glaze is some pineapples. And of course these are full pineapples. So just chop them up because we're gonna combine this with other ingredients and put it on the stove and let it simmer for a few minutes. So next you wanna cut some cherries and mix all that together. Uh, so we're gonna take the red hot sweet chili dipping sauce a little bit of the juice from the pineapples and a little bit of the juice from the cherries and put it all into this pan right here. And then we're gonna add the cherries and the pineapples. Okay, y'all, so this is what it looks like with the sweet chili sauce, the pineapples, the cherries, and some juice from the pineapples and juice from the cherries. So you wanna put it on medium heat and just let it like boil a little bit and keep stirring it. Okay, so it's starting to steam a little bit. Bubbles are starting to come up. So now I'm gonna add some honey. Gotta add some honey, you guys good y'all excuse all this right here we got other stuff that's cooking that's gonna go with this dish later but you'll see it as the final product at the end we're trying to cook everything all at once but yeah this is smelling so good y'all you guys i just did a taste test on the glaze that's gonna go on the chicken oh my gosh it is so good it is so 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 good so um, right now we're gonna plate everything and get it all how it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna show y'all. Oh my gosh, I definitely got Kool-Aid on my mouth. I don't care. But so if you didn't catch everything that was in that last part, so you need honey, the red hot sweet chili dipping sauce, pineapples with the juice and cherries with the juice. And you mix it all together and let it get hot. And then, you know, like what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in one of these squeeze bottles and just squeeze it on, choo choo. So yeah, so we're about to plate the food and I'm gonna show y'all the final product, here we go! Okay y'all, here is the final product. So we got cinnamon toast crunch fried chicken with a honey pineapple cherry glaze. And you know, of course the little cinnamon toast crunch stuff on top, sauteed squash and yellow rice with onions. So. That's the final product. This one, we had a little minor accident with the squeeze bottle. I don't know if you could tell, <laughs> but it still turned out really, really good. Okay, you guys, so that's the end of the video and I'm sad to go because it feels like I've been filming all day long for you guys, but 
the fun has to end somewhere and I guess it's right here. So you guys already know what I say at the end of every video, but before I say that, let me just say, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. You can find me everywhere. Just type in Dreadhead Keezy in the search bar and you know, make sure you're here next time. So that takes me to my final statement. What do I always say? What do I always say? Drop it down in the comments before I say it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here's what I say. Stay up, stay safe, and stay subscribed. Peace out until next time. I got brides in Atlanta. She took the lead in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Getting the licks in the band. Legacies.